when we cured one patient for us it was a victory in the beginning of our history the main importance was to improve patient survival it was long time ago more than 50 years ago bone marrow transplant was really very new and not very popular because the first results were not very good and we were a few physicians to work on this subject and we realized very soon that we should share our experience and few years later we decided to get organized and to, to found the European Blood and Marrow Transplanted Group. The whole mission of EBMT is very close to my heart. We try to cure and rescue lives of patients with hematological malignancies with the use of cellular therapy, stem cell transplantation, and later on other type of cellular therapies such as CAR-T. Major changes have been seen in aggressive B-cell lymphomas, where we already can see that the numbers of both autologous and allogeneic stem cell transplant have significantly decreased over the last, in the last few years with the introduction of autologous and DCD19 CAR T cell construct. Now we're moving to the next generation cellular therapy with the advent of CAR T cells, challenging the role of autotransplant. Amazing advances. EBMT should be able to increase the awareness of the efficacy of these new cellular therapy strategies through education, high-level science, and advocacy uh, methods in order to try to make them as much available as possible in parts of the world where nowadays they are not. The Nobel Prize winner, Don Thomas, who was one of the early uh, developers on hematology, and he uh, mentioned, and I quote, the nurses are the secret weapon in uh, EBMT. Because uh, without the nurses, we cannot uh, accomplish our goals. I'm really proud to be a transplant nurse and extremely proud of how far we've come as a nursing community, what we've achieved through patient care improvement and innovation. Mi nombre es Daniel Sarnito, eh, tengo 32 años y fui diagnosticado en diciembre de 2020 de un linfoma no Hodgkin de células grandes tipo B. El médico me dijo eh, que iba a venir un hematólogo a hablar conmigo y finalmente pues, se me ofreció el tratamiento del CAR-T eh, como pues, una de las últimas opciones que, que me quedaban. Para mí es muy importante poner el paciente en el centro de los tratamientos, Eh, hay que darle una atención integral, eh, cuidar eh, cada aspecto de su vida. An important task for the EBMT into the future is to listen to the patients. And to try to bring patients' need more into the core mission of the society. We established an international registry and with this registry of the transplant patients, it was possible to analyze the results and to promote some research. The EBMT has today many roles in the hematological world. Uh, these include, of course, science based on the registry, but also on prospective studies. But we have a major task in education. The EBMT and also our our trainee committee employs various strategies to overcome differences across regions and cultures. There is one big obvious strategy and this is the registry to harmonize data documentation and data management. The EBMT registry has now been in existence since the late 1980s. I hope that the resources spent in data management and reporting to the registry can be seen as a benefit that the EBMT can give back to the transplant world with a common aim to improve the care for our patients. EBMT has significantly contributed to advance the field of stem cell transplantation and hematology, not only in Europe, 
but worldwide. We are fortunate to live in a very promising and hopeful, but also in a very challenging time. And for this, the younger generation needs to articulate their problems and therefore they also have to include themselves to participate actively in the EBMT but also in the EBMT trainee committee to finally improve our reality but also the reality of our patients. And the aim for the next generation is to cure 100% of the leukemia. Because it's only by working together, putting all our skills together, that we are able to contribute to the ultimate goal, which is about curing more and more patients. I am very proud to be the president of this society that is celebrating its 50th anniversary this year and having achieved so many milestones over these years. The future of EBMT looks brilliant because EBMT is not only a society, it's a vision for the future. Voilà.